program. Uh, I'd like to start uh, by introducing the speaker series. Uh, my name is Vishnu Pandyala. I'm the co-president for ICON. So we started this uh, speaker series to provide opportunities for the employees to both uh, present and also listen and uh, improve their skills. We have had uh, quite a few successful uh, talks on this series. And we have uh, quite a few upcoming uh, topics as well. Uh, we already covered quantum cryptography last month. Uh, we are looking forward to having a session on drones interference with Wi-Fi. Uh, the speaker promised to do a demo as well as part of the talk, so that should be interesting as well. Um, we have a talk uh, planned on uh, 5G, why Cisco is calling for privacy legislation, industrial IoT, networking and data processing, data modeling. Today we have digitization of education, mobile security, semantic networks and knowledge graph analytics, GDPR. So these are uh, some of the topics in the pipeline. The speakers are already lined up for these topics. Uh, but we are uh, still looking for more speakers, and some of the suggested areas are here. Uh, artificial intelligence. So on, I think I should be recording this. There are a lot of requests for recording the uh, event, so I'll start recording. This meeting is being recorded. So once again, uh, uh, we are talking about the ICOM speaker series itself. Uh, my name is Vishnu Pandyala, and uh, we are looking for more speakers. Some of the suggested areas are artificial intelligence, machine learning, somewhat advanced machine learning, smart cities, conversational UI, 4D printing, connected homes, autonomous computing, neuromorphic computing, quantum computing. We already covered a topic on it. But if there are more topics, that's fine too. Hot uh, computing, smart robots, and augmented reality. So last month's talk was on quantum cryptography. It was attended by more than uh, 100 uh, uh, participants from all over the globe. Uh, it was highly successful. Uh, could uh, we ask them to mute? So I had this um, mute on entry. OK, I'll uh, look in here. complete this presentation and then I'll uh, get into uh, So today's talk is uh, on the digital transformation of education. The speaker is Rennie Patton. We have uh, with us. She's the global director for uh, the education sector at Cisco. And uh, we are in Cisco Building 6. Uh, but before I introduce uh, the speaker, uh, a request to everyone who is uh, attending everyone who is not attending as well. So please do participate, spread the word. We have an alias within Cisco. Please subscribe to the alias. The alias is called icon at cisco.com. And uh, do follow the icon community for the updates. And let me now meet the participants so that the participants are meeting now. Okay. So today's talk is on the digital transformation of education. Education institutions, like all service organizations in the digital information era, must seek every means to enhance quality of service delivery and drive efficiency and cost savings. In other words, the journey for the digital transformation in education should lead to a broader vision that enables constant innovation and en enhancement of teaching and learning. It must also improve the operational efficiencies of administrative and ma management services for students, educators, and the community. Our observations of forward-thinking education institutions show that the right integration of pedagogy and technology with a strategic vision of the school or university is essential for the return on investment and continued success of digital initiatives. This type of approach can help the institution ensure all digital learning environments, both physical and virtual, can meet the changing needs of education, the labor market, 
and citizenship in the 21st century. So the speaker for the uh, today's topic is Renny Patton. She is the leader of global education at Cisco. She and her team help schools, colleges, universities, and ministries of education envision the future of learning and start planning and ex executing on the vision today. With over 25 years of business, management, sales, and marketing experiences in both small startups and large corporations, Rini has managed through adversity and diversity to help customers realize technology solutions that drive business and learning outcomes. Including a master's degree in education from Stanford, Rini has spent 18 years in education, giving her a clear perspective to address business issues and ch changing landscapes. Always a curious learner herself, it was after earning her undergrad that she became a high school English and French teacher. She coached cross country and moderated the student yearbook and newspaper, becoming deeply ingrained in the school culture. She then spent four years on the district side man managing policy and a 20 million budget for Los Gatos, Saratoga um, High School District Board of Trustees learning firsthand how a district runs and understand regional challenges. After seven years at Siemens serving as the global marketing interface at Munich and managing national sales program, Rennie joined Cisco to lead the US education field marketing and manage their national EA program. She then served as global industry vertical team manager and marketing education lead with Cisco's corporate marketing organization where she was responsible for content marketing, positioning, and strategy. Most recently, Rennie left her leadership role in US public sector sales to lead Cisco's global education industry activities. Rennie is excited about the future of education and the trends driving massive shifts in how always connected students are learning today. Working with customers, Rennie delivers presentations focused on helping schools, colleges, universities, and ministries of education plan for the future, better engage learners and prepare teachers and drive cultural change across their organization. She also discusses the importance of platforms and the education ecosystem. So now I request Rennie to take over uh, from me and uh, do the presentation. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's such a pleasure to be here with you today. I'll go ahead and burn my computer. I still need to have, I need to get one of those wireless stickers. Uh, yeah. Okay, so thank you again. It's, it's so much fun to be here. I want to do a call out for um, Fred King, who is my newest team member. He is a vertical solutions architect for education. And um, so Fred, it's been what, four weeks now? Three four weeks. weeks, four yeah. weeks. So he's here in San Jose from Minnesota. Yeah and he's helping us to prepare for the um, ISTE trade show. It's one of our big K-12 trade shows at Cisco. And so he's literally here staging everything at Cisco and then they'll ship it to Philadelphia where the show's taking place in June. So that's one example of the kinds of things that we do at Cisco. But um, uh, so I've been here for a really long time. When um, Vishnu was going through my, my um, bio, I thought, oh, I cannot, it's not possible that I've been to <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing, I've been in tech for 25 years. How, I should take those years out. I hear people now in their resumes, they, they don't put how many, you know, they don't put dates anymore. And I'm thinking, I better take those numbers out. Um, but I'm just, I love talking about education. Uh, so what, I know you've had um, presentations, you've been, you know, li you've listened to different speakers. I would love this to be super interactive. So. Um, rather than because I have 5,000 slides here and I don't want you to be bored so I'm going to ask you questions throughout and so the first question I have is how many of you um, might possibly have kids in education today okay so raise your hands if you have kids okay okay now if you don't have kids you know kids who are in school or college or university right do you know kids and if you don't know kids you yourselves have all been through the system so I always like to say, everybody who you meet has been through school, you're all kind of experts in education, because where else have you spent 12, 14, 16, in Vishnu's case, many more years um, in education to really kind of learn from the inside out about how we're teaching students. 
And so one of the exciting things about what we do at, at Cisco, so I'm gonna kind of go through some major trends, but did any of you know that Cisco has an education